Hello there friends, this is Chris with Peace of Mind and I'm here to do another little bit ephemera making session with you and this time I'm going to do some really cool um, little cones made out of music paper or you can also use book paper. So I, I have a lot, plenty of the music paper so that's what I'm going to use today. Um, these are some that I've already made. Now this idea was not mine. I saw it on G. Kerr's channel. And uh, that once again her name is G. G. I. Her last name is Kerr. K. E. R. R. And she has a lot of uh, paper folding and origami type of things on her on her channel. I love watching her. This is a little bit fiddly at first, but once you get the hang of it, then it, it goes pretty quickly. Um, what do you use these for? They have a paper clip on the back, so you can clip them on. Um, if you make them fairly uh, flat, then you could use them inside a journal. Um, <clears throat> if they're a little bit, uh, you know, more, they have more dimension to them then you might want to use them on like on the outside of a journal or you could also put them on a card or uh, you know any other artwork that you might have and they all they all have paper clips on the back and I'll show you how to make one of these um, I used mine on the front cover this is my um, my idea journal and um, I used it on the ribbon that goes, it's paper clipped on here, the ribbon that goes around. So actually I could move this over a little bit further. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was really cute. So this is my idea journal which is getting mighty, mighty thick. Okay. So the first thing you do is you want to take a piece of paper and I have some that are already cut here. You can just take a, a strip of book paper or, um, in my case, the music sheet. And let's see, I I'm, I'm, uh, cut this down to be about, about four inches wide. Um, the way G shows it on her channel, she has like a two and a half by three and a half piece. But you can, as you can see, and here's some, some that I've made prior to coming on here. You can make them all the kinds of different sizes. So just experiment with your paper to find out, you know, what what size you, you make with, with with which. And you can as you can as you'll see you can cut it off too. So you start out with a strip of paper and then you're going to start on one end. What you're going to do is you're going to roll this into a cone shape, trying to keep trying to keep the bottom edge pointed. Okay, and then you just roll it around until you get it kind of how you want it. I like to have it be kind of wider at the at the, the front part. Okay, and then this part I'm going to tear, or you can cut it down. Okay, now I'm going to have to I lost my, my fold here, so we have to do that again if it's all right. Okay. Just gonna make this so, see how this top up here is pointed. Then I'm gonna flatten it out. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this around now you won't always bring it around. Sometimes, sometimes it'll be, um, and I'll show you. We can we can cut that part down too. Let me use my scissors to get a little bit a little bit straighter here. And sometimes it'll just fold around to the front like this. Either way is fine. Okay. Now you're gonna wanna you wanna keep this part open. Don't glue that down so that you can uh, fit things 
other things in there in a minute. Cut this again. Okay, and I use uh, some uh, art glitter glue, and I'm going to glue this flap down. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, like I said, you know, if you're satisfied with that size, that's fine. If if you want other sizes, you can make other sizes. I'm going to take some um, ink. I'm going to ink around the edges and on the part of the cone. Ink on the back if you want, although that's going to be the part that really won't show, but you can still, still do it. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put on your paper clip before you decorate it. So, um, all of these have been inked. I think I just have one that has, the, this one has the paper clip on it. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to put a paper clip on this big one so I can decorate that. that one. So, you get a paper clip that fits the size. This one's this one's uh, kind of large. You turn it over onto the back. Here I have a piece of cardstock that has been, uh, a piece of music paper has been glued down to it. Okay, and then I'm going to put the paper clip on here. I want the part that goes up I want that to be in the front I did that wrong I'll do it this way It doesn't really matter which which way you do it. Either way, it looks kind of looks the same. So I'm gonna cut this out to fit around this paper clip. Okay, and you can either use art glitter glue or you can use your um, Fabric tag. You might want to use your fabric tag on this on this one. Uh, this this big paper clip is kind of heavy, but glue. Put your glue around the paper and the paper clip. Okay, and I'm gonna glue that down. You might need to hold it down with a clamp. Or just kind of smash it down and, and hold it for a minute. Okay. So, like I said, you're going to want to do this paper clip part before you decorate it. Okay, and then we have two ready to be decorated. Let me see. First, the first thing you might want to do is put in some. Uh, uh, now, I know on G's, G's uh, when she showed how to do it. She used cheese cheesecloth coming out of here. I like kind of like the lace. So I'm going to put some uh, fabric tack down on the inside of the cone. Take a minute to come out. Hope you guys are all doing well today. It's beautiful weather here. It's Sunday. I'm going to be going out in the yard in, in a little bit. Get started working on some cleanup. Oh, 
come up a little ways. What I'm going to want to do is kind of ruffle this a bit so it fits in there. Shit down in there with my, with my fingers. You can also, flowers that have stems, you can put those in there. Let's see how that looks. It's pretty. You just want to um, put the glue on the stem and then stick down in there. Like so. On this one I'm going to do some um, some daisies, I think. Do one kind of in the middle, and um, once again, I'm using my fabric glue, fabric tack. And I don't, I don't think these have a certain side, so put a dab of glue there on that one. It's going to be the one that's kind of in the middle, and then these I'm going to put more to the side. Just kind of do it like you would, you know, like a flower arrangement. And you can choose your the sizes of your flowers. You can use uh, these flatter flowers. You can also use paper flowers, flowers that you made. Um, fabric, those little fabric flowers that you buy. Uh, that, that uh, let's see, which ones am I talking about? I don't have any on here, but but this is like it comes on a roll and it's different different uh, roses. Cut those apart and use them. Okay, then you can do anything to kind of decorate the the vase as well. I'm going to put a little um, bow on here. Go. Wet wipe to pat that up. Get that excess glue. I'm kind of making sure that that cone stays open a little bit if you want. Kind of give it more of a three-dimensional look. I think this would be a, make a really pretty uh, Mother's Day gift or card. Okay, hold up so far. That's pretty. Let me check. Let me maybe make make one or two more. This one has a paper clip on it already, so I'll go ahead and decorate that one. Yeah, I'll do a... A little of this... Uh, of this glittery tool. I think I'm just going to use my art glitter glue because this won't take much to hold it down. Ah! Famous last words. Just bring that down in there. Uh, let's try some of these. Uh, these flowers. Like I said, make it kind of like you're like you're doing a bouquet. Can add to it. I think 
I'm going to cut this one off. Do these two. This is a good way to use up all your little bits of lace and maybe some silk flowers that you have, that kind of thing. Got a little bit of glue on this silk flower. I'm going to get that off of there. Okay, and then I have this one other one that I'm going to stick down in there. Kind of in the middle to come up a little, maybe come up a little bit higher. A bit fiddly. Yeah. And before that glue dries, I'm kind of trying to maneuver it around a little bit. It's pretty. And if I wanted to. I could uh, just take a little bit of dab of glue, kind of glue this down so that it's not doesn't stick up so much. Glue it down to the to the tool. You get the idea. I might need to do a little bit more work on that. Okay, and then I am going to put. Let's see what kind of lace I can put in there. This is awful pretty. Okay, I'm cut this, this end off. Could also put a bow on this one, whatever, whatever kind of strikes me. I'll just put the glue on the paper. Okay, I hope you guys are enjoying these little bits where I'm making small ephemera. each time. I think this is number four. And I'll continue to do it for a while, see how it goes. I don't think I'll run out of ideas. I like these, I like these shorter videos too. They're a little bit easier to make and I think people like them as well. They don't take quite as long to watch. Although on the, the longer ones, you can always fast forward through the parts that you kind of already understand and you already know. Okay. Put something else on there. Maybe a bow below here, but well, I'm going to wait until I see what, where I use it. Okay. So here's the, the two that we made today. I'm going to, before I go, I'm I'm uh, going to show you one more time the, the ones that I have made. Some of the ones that I've made. Seems like I kind of have a purple and blue theme here. I might need to, to change a little bit. Well, here's, a, here's, a, here's one that's a peach, peach color. And this one has a this one has a little girl on it. This is one of the Tim Holtz dolls. That's a that's a good idea to use as well. Here's a here's a girl I could put on one. Possibly. Want you to take care and have a great day. Peace of mind.